Hi, I'm Fat Lurch, and this is going to be a proof of concept demonstration for my external radar altimeter control panel. You can see that over on the right of the screen. It's just a simple little PCB hooked up to an Arduino with obviously a display and uh, some buttons and an encoder. So I'm fired up here in an MH60 from the H60 development project from Hatchet. Uh, if you're not otherwise familiar, this aircraft has a really nice option called a flight director here, or panel I should say. It allows you to have a whole bunch of autopilot functions that are configurable. In this specific instance, I'm emulating the radar altimeter autopilot function here. You can see RALT, the RALT50 right there in about the center of the screen. That is the radar altimeter hold function. The little gray button there below the green text will switch it on and off. The little gray knob below allows you to adjust it up and down, and if you click on that knob, it'll configure it for your current altitude. So I wanted to have the capability to interact with that without having to zoom in down from where I'm looking forward on the aircraft, down to the flight director panel, and then find the relatively small control to click on it. So I built an external panel, kind of in the spirit of the Warthog project. So, I <clears throat> have it set up over here with the same controls that you can see on the flight director itself. So if I zoom in here, you can see that it's currently set for 50 in the game and 50 out here. So, when I adjust this knob, you can see it increments both to where they match. So now I've got 100 feet commanded on my panel, it's 100 feet in the game. If I go ahead and click the button to switch the autopilot on, you can see the button comes on in the game. If I zoom out, the aircraft's starting to... Uh, pick up and try to match that altitude. I'm using auto hover to cheat because I'm videoing this. So now I'm flying at about 100 feet and I can again go in here and adjust this so my altitude hold is something on the order of 150 feet. And if you're not otherwise aware, you can also see the same kind of information over here on the actual radar altimeter gauge on your primary flight display. Again, there in pink, you can see radar altimeter, 150 feet, which matches what I have in my panel. If you note that little purple mark on the outside of the circle, when I augment this, that is a graphical representation of what I've configured. So now I have 300 commanded here. You can kind of tell this is pointing towards the three on the gauge. The number in the center there is the actual aircraft altitude. There's a little bit of offset due to landing gear, things like that, but it's usually within about 10 feet. So the next thing I'm going to demonstrate is I'm going to go ahead and switch off my altitude hold autopilot and I'm going to increase my throttle and I'm going to start climbing. And you can see now I'm climbing pretty aggressively, coming up through 400 feet, etc. When I click this knob, that's the P-Sync function, that's going to synchronize the radar altimeter to my current altitude. So I'm going to click that now. It's there at 450-ish feet. Like I said, it's off by a few feet usually. So 450 set, 450 set on the flight display on the aircraft, and everything matches. This add-on uses Armacon. It's a function that a friend wrote to enable Arma to communicate to serial ports and vice versa. So in this case, like I said, I'm using just a simple little Arduino to talk back and forth to a known serial port in the game. Uh, this is not ready for prime time. Uh, this is not going to be a standard add-on kind of thing. Armacom uh, plan to release that to enable people to come up with things like that. I do want to put out examples for how to make things like this, but more this is intended to be a framework to allow people to do what they want to do with this. Um, like I said, I was always kind of jealous of the guy from the Warthog Project. He has this really decked out A10C full uh, flight sim that talks to uh, DCS. If you haven't checked him out on YouTube, I recommend you do so. It goes over a lot of the techniques of how you can create these panels yourselves relatively inexpensively. And again, for the internet trolls, I know Arm is not a flight sim, but I'm having fun, so I thought I'd share. Thanks for your time, and uh, I'll be posting more later.